Now today we're going to go into uh, something with devastation, with um, how to have depth and stay open. And to do this, there's this imaginary circumstance of this, of this imaginary circumstance of this star. And this star was good and, and worked well and hard and learned stuff. And, and there comes a point in this star's career that all of a sudden they're told that their box office numbers and their ticket prices at the arenas don't match up with what it is that they're spending in promotion. And they start to realize that their entire career has been funded by accounts that, you know, they've trusted people with and their, their, their careers have absolutely not been built on anything other than uh, basically fake promotion. And, and we're, we're doing this because we want to explore this. Now, listen, I'm a very, very, I'm a very good person to know in, in some of these situations because I know some of this stuff is absolutely realistic. And then the, we're, we're dealing with how to have depth and stay open. So we're working at the ability to be able to work with the construct of devastation for the, the depth in this, in this example, right? So we're dealing with the fact that just like, you know, the whole, a lot of different things happen and people will then find out after already having some success in the industry. Uh, either acting or film or uh, um, music and then they find out that the reality was the whole thing was just a shell game and they're giving away all these concert tickets and they're giving away all this stuff for promotions for every single thing and they've always got these promotions and then when it comes down to it they realize that it's it's all just been, just been a complete absolute sham it, it, it's not that they that they haven't been making music. It hasn't been that they haven't been making art. They haven't been making, you know, acting. It's the fact that they're realizing that the box office numbers don't even match the amount of money spent on the promotion. I mean, by like incredible, incredible, incredible amounts. There are these programs that I use, and I use these programs to do these things like cartoons, to be able to accentuate, to, to, ex, to absolutely um, amplify the emotions that I go through. And when I go through emotions, first of all, I absolutely emotionally prepare, sometimes even before the videos, because I, I love emotional preparation. I love to be able to get myself upset about one thing, get myself upset about another, and then put that into some imaginary work. And these cartoons, there's links in the descriptions below, and they can absolutely, they can amplify those expressions that you can learn to be able to get with your talent. Okay, so feel free, use those links. Now, you know, a lot of people don't want to talk about this in the industry. A lot of people don't want to look at the dilemmas that stars get put into being caught in this kind of construct. And, and this is part of the back financing and back offices of people making up geopolitical environment conditions and putting out fake news and doing whatever else. And I don't care about any of that. It's not my business. But what I care about is the fact that it's creating an ability for depth, right? Depth. And we're finding devastation based on this example, right? Now, depth alone is a sinking ship. It's going to be something that you, you activate and, 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 it, and it activates. And if you activate it genuinely, you might have to figure out some techniques to be able to also stay open, right? 
So, if this is an example for a movie script, right? Then we're looking at being able to tell parts of real stories, maybe just fictional stories. Nobody wants to admit this in Hollywood anyway, or anywhere else. But the reality is, is that we're looking at some uh, um, artificial, uh, imaginary story about, um, you know, basically stars that find out that their careers were bought. Completely, absolutely bought. It's all promotion. It, it's not the, the situation. And what is, is jarring about this, this script and this, this concept is the fact that, that it jars the, 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 the star. And, and all of a sudden they realize like they didn't even, they, 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 they never had acting technique. They didn't need it because they didn't think they needed it. They had, they had some, but it wasn't like they didn't have to dive into it. And then later they have to realize that they have to try and take their art a lot more seriously. Because, you know, bigger and bigger and bigger money's coming through and they've got to be able to justify something or they, they don't want to be involved in it. And they, they literally are caught in a situation where they just want to be an artist. There are links in that description that you could actually use to improve your acting. You can help, to, it can help you to improve your creativity. So there are, are um, independent activities, there are reasons at the door, there's lists of programs, there's um, lists of emotions, there's programs that you can do, and there's also ways that you can actually contact me for private coaching. So listen, Please, do yourself a favor and check that out, you know, right down there in the description box. Now, is this devastation? Yes, it's devastation. Is it depth? I would say it's depth. Can I go deeper with this in many different shades? Believe you and believe me, I absolutely can. Now, why are we talking about this? We're talking about how to stay open in acting. But we're, we're talking about something that's uh, realistic, realistic, sort of, imaginary circumstance of, uh, of, of, uh, of, a, of a construct of what could be a script that you're offered to be able to work in, 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 in the industry. So we're dealing with this ability to be able to balance this very serious condition, this very serious situation with this thing about how to have depth and stay open. Hi, I'm inviting you to actually join me live on the internet. And uh, if you would, you can bring your own emotional preparation. We can work on emotional preparation together and we can really hone down and help build out that talent with inside of you. Now, even if all it is, is you wanna just bring an emotional preparation do a spoon river, I don't mind. Come, join us, and absolutely practice the talent of your own acting. So what are we gonna do with this as artists? We've got this tremendous burden of a circumstance, and if the writers have done anything good, they've been able to do that for you. They've been able to give you a burden that's hard to carry. Hopefully, Hopefully the ghost writers or the real writers or whoever it is that's written the script is, is giving you a really good gem for you to be able to really go in depth with. And then what can happen then is you've got to be able to figure out this construct with how to be able to stay open. So, devastation, right? We're looking at devastation. Anger comes out with devastation. Irritation comes out with devastation. Why couldn't somebody tell you the truth? Why couldn't this? Well, well, if you're doing scenes in this movie, this fictional movie that we're talking about, then you'd want to be able to find and justify answers for yourself to be able to be able to justify this construct. And you want that to come out in the scenes, right? And you might make notes on some scenes. You want to be able to kind of work with something that might come out, might not come out, but you want to see if, it, if you can activate it. See, this is the reason why we work with emotional preparation. Because we're working with art. We're working to be able to become artists that are actors. Not just doers. 
not just performers. We want to be able to, and I know a lot of hard work goes into, into doing, a lot of hard work goes into performing. I get that. There's a lot of techniques and things that are involved in it, and I get that that's true. But the reality is what we are looking for is we are looking to be able to find emotional justification. We want to find, can we find that emotional depth? Is there something that you know of and you're able to draw upon that you can pull up? That would be a heartbreaking story to be able to find out the fact that your box office numbers are far, far, far less than your promotion budget. And meanwhile, you keep getting pay raises. Okay, so what, what are we doing here, right? We're looking at this topic of how to have depth and, and, and stay open and acting in this fictitious example, right? We're looking at this fictitious example, but it's, it's, it's real enough to be able to find and mine this, to find this construct of being able to find this emotion of devastation. Devastation that comes out with frustration, with anger, with this, you know, but you go to the core of it and then you have all these different shades and this is going to be end up being the movie picture, right? We're looking at being able to make a movie picture with this concept. So, we're looking at this whole thing. And as artists, we have to remember something. And this is the point. And if you would, like, boop the like button. But the thing is, is if you feel like it. And the thing is, is that you want to be able to go into devastation. But you've got to be able to keep yourself in flux enough that you're open to possibly a favorable outcome, even in the devastation. So, you know, a lot of people have said to me, well, why have I made certain choices, whatever, and some of the choices I've made are very, very good to stay away from certain things. And, and, and I know there could have been opportunities one way or another, but I, I, I'm, I'd rather try and, 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 and work with, and I, I'm open to opportunities. I absolutely am, but I want to make sure that they're absolutely open and genuine. I want to make sure that they're genuine opportunities, that they're, that they're actually stuff that I actually earn, that I actually work for it, I can actually I can earn. I can actually say, yeah, I, I, I do acting, I earn, I, I, I do artists, I work on being able to help people actually get their emotions and their acting. I work in a way that actually enable to construct the ability for able for me myself to be able to work it, upset myself and go into this imaginary world. So how do we balance this thing out? Now I hope you're following me because this is a good one. You balance this thing out with a little bit of hope which might mean that you add that as another little bit of emotional preparation. And there's going to be this jostling that happens within you. Because you want to be able to touch on the devastation. Absolutely go into it. Absolutely go into it. But you can't go into it until, until you just hit a brick wall. You might have a couple scenes that are that intense. And you could. You could absolutely, like, you know, where you've absolutely lost it. And you're completely like alone in some situation and you're and you're literally just like letting loose how you feel about something. And by the way, I challenge you, absolutely, this is a great idea for films. Why are we not doing this in films? What are we waiting to do? We should be letting ourselves completely go like this in films. We should let our emotions out like that in films. So we might be walking in a situation and we have this moment of aloneness and or we're in a, a situation where there's this moment of aloneness and all of these floods of feelings of this devastation comes up with this death. And this is the kind of thing that we're looking to be able to achieve. So... The end of this movie picture, which by the way doesn't exist, is with the artist realizing that they can't do anything about the corruption. 
but they can make the choice themselves to turn themselves into an artist and not just a performer, although I know performing is a lot of hard work, but they can actually develop themselves. There's something anew about what they can discover in themselves when they're doing their craft of acting or their craft of producing or their craft of, um, uh, you know, uh, music. So look, listen, I hope that this has been helpful. This is supposed to be some food for thought. And, and really, absolutely, consider what this can do for you. How do you balance this out? We're looking at scripts, we're looking at situations, we're looking at circumstances. We're looking at imaginary circumstances to be able to figure out how do we activate that thing? How do we, how do we balance this? We, we, don't, we want that depth, but we need to be able to have that openness. So, remember, this is important. And, and work with this in fun ways. And uh, if you feel free, leave a comment about it. Okay? All right. Thanks. Okay, so I teach people how to get upset. I have a lot of fun teaching people how to literally, purposefully upset themselves. Actually waking their own activations up so that they're emotionally activated. There's something that they can get upset about within a ballpark of emotion. But the key, the absolute key, is I don't want you to carry around that stuff in your life. That's what's called acting baggage. You want to be able to learn a technique. I have to be able to tell you that it would be a disservice for me to teach you all of these incredible techniques on how to access yourself as an artist without reminding you very nicely that you don't need your acting baggage in life. So feel free, work on processes where you have a release time after you're doing your acting. And what this will do is it will actually amplify your work because it will give your acting muscles the break that they need in order to get the rest that they need so that your work will be even stronger. Okay, thanks very much.